Disruption has clearly become an inescapable challenge for all sectors. Transitioning from a metal to software is integral to sustain and survive in a disruptive business environment. Hello listeners, thank you for tuning in to my latest podcast. I'm back this week with a hotly discussed issue. In light of the disruptions being caused by technology, we have witnessed more disruption in the past two decades than all previous centuries combined, according to the World Economic Forum. Technology has been the main source of disruption in communities worldwide. Each new technology has scaled with lightning fast speed, producing disruptive changes at all levels, affecting individuals in their day-to-day activities and creating competition amongst the global powers. According to predictions by Tony Sieber, every single industry is going to get disrupted either by technologies, business modeling impact, or product innovation. And uh, I couldn't agree more. Disruption has clearly become an inescapable challenge for all sectors. It has become imperative for organizations to truly change their position with long-term impact in mind. They can no longer play it safe. They need to build stronger defenses and be more resilient in the face of rapid disruption and tech advancement. Let me begin with sports. While disruption is taking place across various industries, sports has made some really game-changing moves, embracing technology like never before. Being an avid sports fan, particularly NFL and cricket, I'm fascinated by the evolution of the sports coverage, owing to changing consumption habits. Look at the live sports OTT channels, which are pivoting to provide engaging content to its audience hence offering a memorable experience and laying the groundwork for future success. Let's change gears and get into the energy sector now. We've seen profound disruptions there as well. It's driven by the convergence of several key technologies whose cost and capabilities have been improving on predictable trajectories like solar photovoltaic power, wind power, lithium ion, battery, etc., etc. We are aware that renewable energy, also known as clean energy, comes from natural resources that are abundant. As the world battles an energy crisis, it's important for businesses to invest in renewable energy to sustain in the long term. Simply put, our future depends on it. In light of the positive incentives provided by governments worldwide to tackle climate change, The time is ripe for businesses to invest in renewable energy and upskill the workforce with knowledge regarding these technologies. Speaking of the auto sector, owing to the popularity of the electric vehicles, there is a demand for lithium ion battery cells. As demand grows and battery prices go down over the future, batteries will become more disruptive across the industries. Even the food industry has changed dramatically in recent years with ecosystems becoming even more complex. People are becoming more eco-conscious and exhibiting an appetite for sustainable food options like never before. As observed by Tony Siba, disruptive food technology trends such as precision fermentation, cellular agriculture are taking over meat, milk and other animal products. It may sound like science fiction, but in fact, reality. Lean new technologies will quickly outcompete and disrupt the older animal-based industries. With technology remaking the future of food, businesses in the food sector need to take note of changing consumer preferences and invest in solutions ahead of time. It's evident that every sector is embracing new technologies to stay ahead of the curve. So what does it take to future-proof your business? How does an organization prepare for this impending shift? They certainly need to reflect on such questions and chart out an action plan for long-term sustainable growth. Today, as the business world changes rapidly, consumers' needs keep diversifying. It is very important to be agile and in some cases unlearn and relearn our way of thinking and doing business. If you observe closely, you'll see successful companies 
also have a clearly defined purpose that acts as a north light in everything they do. A well-articulated purpose provides clarity and direction to the company. The purpose also provides the fundamental basis for differentiating the company's business and its brands. Only those organizations that have a strong purpose taste long-term success. They're more likely to witness higher market share gains and growth in comparison to their competitors. An organization must also plan well to ensure that they have the right people and processes in place to recruit and develop talent that is future facing. I call it the PPTA, meaning people, process, technology, and ability. It is important that businesses invest in all. As I speak, some organizations are already developing new training strategies to skill and equip their workforce to face the future. Transitioning from a metal to software is integral to sustain and survive in a disruptive business environment. At Greaves Cotton, we are at an exciting juncture today. Moving with the times, we have embarked on our transformational journey to leverage new opportunities provided by technology, new regulatory framework for environment and economic growth. We've gotten into the new era of EVs. We have transitioned from being a diesel engine manufacturer to cleaner mobility solutions provider. The past few years for us has been strategic in terms of also moving towards a B2C market from a traditionally B2B and we need to get closer to our customers. With the future expected to bring even more drastic shifts to the way we work and live, tech-savvy industries shouldn't hesitate to capitalize on the current market trends, develop new business ideas and create value, not just for themselves, but for their stakeholders. In conclusion, I'd like to say that organizations need to be resilient in the face of challenges and ready in the face of opportunities. If you enjoyed this podcast, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Nagesh underscore A underscore B. Thank you for listening to my podcast. Stay tuned for more. Have a wonderful day.